Good morning, grade 10 students. I'm your math teacher. Today's lesson is also about the limit of a function. Today, we are going to find the limit of functions with absolute values. Example one, we'd like to find the limit as x approaches zero of x squared plus x over absolute x. First, we should recall that Absolute x is x if x is positive, is minus x if x is negative. And here there is a difference. If, you, if x approaches 0 from left, x will be less than 0 actually. So it is negative. The absolute value of x will be minus x. If x approaches 0 from right, actually x will be greater than 0, and the absolute value of x will be plus positive plus x limit as x approach 0 from left and this sign on the top of 0 it means limit as x approach 0 from left of this function because x approach from left absolute x is minus x you factorize you simplify you end up with the limit equals to minus 1 limit as x approach 0 from right 0 from right, it means x positive, absolute x is x, not minus x, will be, you factorize, you simplify, the limit will be 1. Minus 1 is different from 1, so the limit of this function does not exist. We should end up with the same limit. Example 2, the limit as x approach 1 of absolute x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. To simplify, we need to find the sign of x squared minus 1. So we set up a table of signs. You know that x, x plus 1, x minus 1, and the sign will be the product is positive here, negative here, positive here. To approach 1 from left, it means x plus 1 into x minus 1 is negative. It means its absolute value is minus into x minus 1, x plus 1. To approach 1 from right, it means x plus 1 into x minus 1 is positive, and the limit as x approach from right is the same, x minus 1 into x plus 1. The absolute value of a positive value is itself, the absolute value of a negative value is opposite to the negative value. First, x approach 1 from left will be minus into x minus 1 into x plus 1. You simplify, you end up with minus 2. The limit as x approach 1 from right will be x minus 1, x plus 1 over x minus 1. You simplify, you end up with 2. Also in this case, 2 and minus 2 are different, then the limit does not exist. You need to practice these are three exercises for you to do as a homework. Hope you all understood. Wish to meet again. Bye-bye.